Addressing Climate Change with Sustainable Communities. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 257. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the executive director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 257, February 25th, 2018 edition. And today's topic that I'd like to discuss is addressing climate change with sustainable communities. And how one community is addressing climate change through sustainable communities is by creating open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living. And highest good living is a combination of the physical foundations of sustainability with the emotional foundations of sustainability. Physical foundations being food, energy, and housing, and the emotional foundations that we've identified as most important being fulfilled living practices, highest good economic models, highest good education models, as well as true earth stewardship. Putting these things together in a sustainable community or teacher demonstration hub model that will provide a way of living that we think most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living right now. And the way that this is addressing climate change with sustainable communities is by creating a global cooperative, a global collaborative of open source teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs working together to teach others how to live sustainably as well. And the big goal of that is to move our planet towards sustainability and to ultimately achieve a sustainable planet within our lifetime that provides for the needs of everyone living that way. And so through doing this, we're addressing sustain climate change through sustainable communities by teaching people how to live sustainably and providing a way of living that most people consider to be better than the way they're living right now, built on this sustainable infrastructure. So whether or not people agree that uh, humanity is responsible for climate change, or whether or not people even agree that humanity is contributing to climate change, through building sustainable teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs, and creating them open source and free shared so that they can spread across the world, becoming self-replicating models, teaching others how to create teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities and hubs too, this is how we're addressing climate change because it doesn't really matter if people agree with whether or not humanity is causing climate change or contributing to climate change. By creating a sustainable planet, planet that will benefit everybody, we are addressing the problem. And so people may do that because they want to escape society. People may create a teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub because they would like to be prepared for the end of the world, because they would like to have higher quality food, because they would like to have higher quality water, because they would like to spend more time with their friends and family and be off grid, or because they would like to participate with one community in creating a sustainable planet that will benefit everyone and everything living on this planet within our lifetime. This is what we're creating, and the model, though, is designed so that it can be implemented for whatever goals and reasons people want. But because it is built on sustainable infrastructure, because it's built on the concept of radical and complete comprehensive sustainability, and it thrives, the more people share it, the more fun people are having living this way, and the more people invite others to participate, to come in and experience everything that it is that one community is creating, the more the model will thrive. And so does it require that? No, absolutely not. Our model is designed so that it can invite tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people to participate and fund its own expansion. Designing all the seven different village models that you see happen here in the background, as well as the education model, as well as the economic models, the fulfilled living practices, the true earth stewardship, the open source botanical model, model all of these things, the highest good food models, the highest good housing models, all these things, putting them all together, funding the constant expansion and contribution of these models to the developments of other people's projects and the replicate, replication around the world so that we can change this world for the better so that our legacy is leaving a planet that is truly sustainable to support generations to come, to create a world that is sustainable and will sustain life within itself indefinitely. Really, this is what we're all about. And so addressing climate change with sustainable communities is really about creating a better way of living for people, creating a sustainable way of living for people and open sourcing and free sharing it so that the idea will spread on its own and be accessible to people all across the world, positively and permanently 
moving our world to sustainability and sharing that as we do every step of the way so that people can implement what it is that we're creating as either the complete teacher demonstration community village city or hub or as individual components just adding a garden or just add, uh, retrofitting a house to be more sustainable or looking at the highest good energy components or looking at the highest good education or the economic models putting whatever components work best for people to work but because they are built on the philosophy and the mindset of highest good doing this in such a way that no matter how it's implemented it's still a step in the right direction no matter whether or not people agree with addressing climate change with sustainable communities or believe believe in climate change or that we're contributing to climate change it doesn't really matter providing what we're providing as a foundation for sustainable communities to be built around the world is still addressing climate change with sustainable communities and so this is what one community is doing and our all volunteer nonprofit staff has been working on it now for over seven years and what i'd like to show you now is one week of our 100 percent volunteer uh, nonprofit teams, progress and accomplishments, working towards this goal, uh, not necessarily specifically of addressing climate change with sustainable communities, but the goal that does address climate change with sustainable communities. And so here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, continued research and design of the open source climate battery designs. What you see here are the newly updated pipe sizing and changes to the orientation and depth. And the core team returned to working on the Seven Villages online book. This week, we updated and added missing images to the compressed earth block village spreads, updated all the main village images, and started researching images for the maker spaces. The core team also created the complete Recycled Materials Village Pod 6 cost analysis page and shared it across all our social media platforms. You can see some of this new and finished page here. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued with the Cobb Village Pod 3 AutoCAD layout updates. Here's update 102 of Dean's work, exploring new bathroom layouts. Aparna Tandon, architect, continued her work on the compressed earth block village external elements. What you see here is her 46th week of work that created this final presentation for zones 14, 15, and 16. It is now on the site. Aparna also created this second generation of the complete landscaping plans overview and summary. And Jagannathan Shankar Mahadevan, mechanical engineer, completed his 16th week volunteering and finished another round on the cost analysis calculations for the Treehouse Village cost analysis page. What you see here is a sample of the additional completed work. Michelle Pinzaru, interior designer and architectural drafter, also completed her sixth week working on the Treehouse Village residential designs. This week she finished the AutoCAD floor plan updates and started working on the final texturing and lighting details for the interior. You can see some of this work here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team completed the final rollout and implementation details for the Highest Good Energy page. You can see some of this work here, covering each phase of the energy infrastructure that will supply power to the city center and other phase one construction areas. The core team also completed a thorough review of the materials analysis and dead load report and tutorial, which you can see here. David Olivero, mechanical engineer and data scientist, completed his 12th week helping with the HVAC designs for the Duplical City Center. This week's focus was researching and creating the initial equipment plan. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued work on the food plans on the food self-sufficiency transition plan pages and created two additional days of meals and recipes, as you can see here.
One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team updated the team page to reflect changes to our active volunteers, moving all inactive volunteers lower on the page and updating their bios to reflect the work they performed. The Highest Good Network software team consists of Samya Manahar, Pretty Kodari, Shubar Mittal, Priyanka Singh, and Asha Tatamari. This week, the team finished the UI for the logout option and changing a person's password. They also worked on time log screen integration of notifications, management of action items for self and team, and ability to log time, scrolling for the badges display, and mouse over text for the badges. Well, there you have it. There is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards the goal of addressing climate change with sustainable communities. It's not our primary goal, but creating a sustainable planet is one of our primary goals. Creating and living for the highest good of all life on this planet is one of our foundational goals. And open sourcing and free sharing everything that we do is one of our foundational goals. And in so doing that, we are addressing climate change with sustainable communities. So with that said, uh, if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all of our open source content, you can visit our written blog or visit our website. If you'd like to uh, receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list. Uh, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on social media and manage your updates that way. Uh, to support that, of course, we are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on now on Instagram, We've been on for years, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Reddit, LinkedIn, uh, Pinterest, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible to access our information and to share our information. So if you'd like to help out, we've got lots of different ways to do that. And the easiest way to do that is just by liking this video, sharing this video, going to our Facebook page, liking our post there, going to our website, sharing or liking the pages of our website that you appreciate the most and helping us get the word out. And of course, there's lots of other ways to participate and help out as well. And um, just watching to the end of this video is helpful. Just liking our con comments or uh, liking our, our posts or making comments on our posts is actually helpful as well. So if you're somebody that's supporting us in any of those ways, thank you very much. Thanks for watching to the end. Thank you for those who donate to our project. We are 100% volunteer, uh, all unpaid staff. So if you're somebody who donates to one community, know that 100% of your donations are going to forwarding our open source mission. They're not going to paychecks or to wages for myself or anybody else involved in the organization because uh, this is how we're creating. So with that said, thanks for watching to the end. Thank you for your support. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.